I'm Yvonne Blake, Managing Principal with Blake & Brown Financial Group. My background um, is nursing. I have a bachelor's in nursing and um, background in critical care. And so getting into pharmaceutical sales from that was a natural fit. Pharmaceutical sales and management with Johnson & Johnson for about 10 years. And as the economy began to shift and I had a family, I needed to do something different. Uh, the travel was killing me. And uh, I parlayed those skills into financial services. It, it seemed to me that there was a need for serious but realistic financial help. And um, I just had a passion for it. Blake and Brown was formed because when I worked Initially in the life insurance and financial service business, I worked for a big company and there were limitations, um, pressure to sell their product only. And having worked with Milton at that company, we realized that there was a need for a more specialized approach. And that's how Blake and Brown ended up being formed. Um, we've been together about five years and I feel good about the work we do. I think what I'm most shocked about when I work with people is that we're so quick to abdicate control, that we don't know where our money really is, the company has it, we think they're matching it, we're not sure. I think that that's the thing, and I don't even know if shocked is the word, but I think it's the thing that saddens me the most. Because by taking control, you can make such a big difference. If you have a $20,000 a year job, even if you're making 15,000, you can make a difference in your financial circumstances if you take control. And I think that's the thing that is most amazing to me that so many people either feel like my little bit won't matter or that someone else is taking care of me. The day of Big Brother taking care of you is over. You know, I think the greatest myth ever told was that uh, the devil didn't exist. And people tend to believe myths. I'm a biblical, I wouldn't say scholar, but I love the Bible stories. And one of my favorites is the story about the widow woman who had that little bit of oil and she and her son were going to make a cake and die. And the prophet Elijah came and said, well, I'm hungry and God sent me to you. And she said, well, I, I don't have anything. I only have a little bit of flour, a little bit of oil. I'm about to make this cake, and then me and my son, we're going to die. And Elijah said, well, go ahead and make the cake, but share it with me. And as she put forth that effort, the cake every day, there was enough oil to make another one, and enough oil to make another one. And I say that to say, your little bit can do so much more than you know. Save a little bit, save a dollar. Most people waste more money than they'll ever save. And, and one of our philosophies is that you don't need to save a million than to find out that you lost a million along the way by paying your taxes wrong or that latte habit that so many of us have. You'd be surprised, even the people that work at Walmart or, you know, K&G or I don't know, say anywhere that you would think that you're making minimum wages. They go to, Walmart, uh, to Starbucks every day and get that $4 latte. Even there is an opportunity to save. And that's what I was talking about when I said, we believe we can have a greater impact on your financial future by sharing with you things that you do, may, which may be unknowingly transferring away your money, than by teaching you what's the hottest stock tip and what to race after. You consistently save a dollar, two dollars, or whatever it is a day. And we're talking about compounding interest and all of those different things that we can teach you you're going to see a difference. It's always funny to me when people say that, when you look at our forefathers who were sharecroppers or slaves, and you see the stories on TV about the woman that was a housekeeper and she had enough money that when she died, you know, she left, uh, was it a million dollars to one of the, the colleges and everybody was like, wow, and here on 50,000 or $100,000, we can't do that. Yes, she could. You just have to have the discipline and the mindset to realize that a little bit at a time, slow and steady, makes a big difference.